lots of you asked me to film this stuff so welcome to another episode of john works too much right now we've got this beautiful deck that we built last year and this addition that we built last year but you know what would make it better a porch cover so what we're going to do is we're going to drill some holes in here with the auger and then we're going to put post up we're going to take that gutter off cut back into the roof build a gable put it back in there uh put two valleys re-roof it soften facial whatever so probably a day or so and we'll have this thing done love you too bye So uh, it's like, I don't know, 28 minutes later, and we put we drilled these holes, Kenny drilled these holes all the way down to China. Um, he's got a special auger bit that goes all the way to China, and Kenny is very strong. He actually had a the heart transplant from an ox, and that makes him very strong. Then we tied into the roof, uh, which is amazing, and you're probably wondering how in the world did we do it so fast. There's a uh, setting on this DeWalt 35 foot tape measure, and you just set it to uh, anti-tornado, and it starts putting things back together at an unreasonable rate. Uh, also, if you set your miter saw to actually skilled, then it goes much faster. And of course, having big muscles doesn't hurt. All right, see you in a couple hours. Us essential workers uh, have done a couple things differently. Number A, we drive fast. That's pretty much it. Uh, anyway, so we uh, waited another 14 minutes and then we, have, we did this. But the anti-tornado thing definitely helped. The skilled uh, labor on the skill saw definitely helped. And we've got some rafters up and uh, we got decking on one half. But some idiot, I'm not gonna mention any names, it's me, forgot to get drip edge. So we're gonna go to the store, plus it's freaking hot. That's it. So somebody set the sun settings to bake, or broil, I guess, and it's been broiling for all day long, and so uh, they set our settings to lazy, so all we did was put the other stuff back and then framed it all up and then put on the decking, but the sun's still way up high in the sky and we're gonna go swimming. Sorry, I'm gonna go swimming at a flip house. And Kenny, because he's a better person than me, is gonna go to a step study. Stan Sobery rocks. All right, love you guys. So, um, yeah, I painted it. That's done. So, kind of two days, but they're two short days. Also, they're tearing wallpaper off and scraping acoustic and we're about to change out a French door real quick. All right, love you guys. Welcome to another episode of John Works Too Much. So we're down here. We, I'm down here underneath the crawl space because um, I went to do something and this pipe just fell through. So I'm down here with the scorpions and the snakes and uh, we're gonna make it all work. All right. A lot of people think that attics are built for comfort. Um, those people are misinformed. This is very uncomfortable. Also, a lot of people think that there's nothing living up in their attic and maybe they sleep well at night, but I just fought off a Gila monster and a Komodo dragon and one of them bit me right there on the finger. So watch out, don't get up in your attic unless you're professional. So I got acoustic in my house. That stuff up there is acoustic, popcorn, whatever. <clears throat> and you're thinking, I wish I could get rid of it. Well, here's what you do. You get a special formula with this pump sprayer. What all's in that formula, Kenny? Okay, so there's, <clears throat> Unicorn horns. Yeah. Uh, 47 pumps of uh, protein powder. Yeah. And uh, a bunch of good intentions. Okay. <laughs> so you get that, spray it up there. Let's see what happens. Spray it up there. All right. Okay. And then what? Get a mud knife. Got that. All right. Let's see how, how easy this happens now. You just take this stuff and you just go. Huh. That's not so bad. Where do you get the unicorn horns? All right. So we've already been contacted by PETA about the unicorn horn thing. And. Look, unicorns grow their horns again, and so it doesn't actually hurt them. It's just like cutting your hair or your fingernails or whatever. So please, Peter, if you could just leave us alone. I don't have a heart to tell them. Unicorns haven't even been real since Noah's Ark. Hmm. <laughs> What's up? So, Kenny, how do you get motivated? Do you listen to uh, audiobooks by the Cookie Monster? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sound like this. <laughs> that helps you work faster. Yeah, so what happens is, is the, the cookie monster is presented with oatmeal cookies, and he don't, he don't like those, so it's like, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and that motivates me to be a better person because I want chocolate chip cookies, not oatmeal cookies. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what it looks like <clears throat> after you remove wallpaper, and after you tape them in, and after you texture but before you paint. So I'm about to paint, we'll see what it looks like. All right, 15 minutes later, this is what it looks like with one coat of paint on. 
hopefully better. A little thick in here. So here's the surprise. Remember yesterday, this was uh, a vanity right over here, and now it's not because we put this hutch thing here and we painted, took out the wallpaper and everything, and then we put this vanity over here, and it's beautiful. Two coats of paint, everything's back in place, and <clears throat> everybody's happy. The world is at peace. Do you ever wish people would just shut their stupid mouths and keep their opinions to themselves? Well, that's how other people feel about you. This book is full of so many great lessons on how to not say anything. If you hate reading, you will love this book. It doesn't have any words. If someone got you this book, they're trying to tell you something. Don't be angry. Just take the hint. Just listen to these chapter titles with absolutely no words. How to disagree with someone and still keep it to yourself. How to tell everyone on social media my opinion about politics. If the phone doesn't ring, you'll know it's me. I would tell you why you're an idiot, but I'm too busy stacking cash. No comment. How to subtly tell people you hate them. How to win at the quiet game. You were so much prettier before you started talking. Please correct me. I'm sure you know better, and I really want to hear it. This book also contains amazing original art, like this one, Polar Bear in a Snowstorm. The Art of Seeing Absolutely Nothing at All by John Tunnell. Available on Amazon. I really should have made this an audiobook too. So today on another episode of John Works Too Much, we've got this beautiful bathroom. Come on in here, girl. Uh, come on, come on, come on. We got this beautiful. Isn't this pretty? This is a, a wonderful specimen. We found it here in the wild. Uh, and we are going to hunt this and kill it today. We're also gonna lose this bandy right here. And it is beautiful. Uh, this was probably from about 78 or so, but this is gonna to go to little vanity heaven. Now we're gonna to go to the other bathroom. Good. And this vanity, this is a nice drain, but we're gonna lose this and we're gonna we're gonna polish it up. We've got some magic polish we put on that that makes it beautiful. And then the same thing here, we're just gonna magically deal with all these issues. Um, and it is nice to have a shower head sticking out of sheetrock, but is it though? Not really. All right, so in about 28 minutes, we're gonna come back and it'll all be finished. Love you guys. All right, so it's been like whatever, 12 minutes, and we took out the bathtub and all the tile, the faucet, the drain, blah, 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 the vanity, and the um, faucet and sink, all that. <clears throat> And in the other bathroom, we also took out the vanity faucet, blah, 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 tub, to toilet, or not the toilet, sorry, the tub and everything else, so there. So you're probably thinking to yourself, self, John didn't do anything today, but we did take out the bathtub and we put in a stand-up shower and poured the pan and got the faucet in, so that's good, and got the vanity out, and the sink and faucet and everything. And then in here, we got the floor out, got the vanity out, Blah, 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 got the bathtub in, got the shower faucet in, and laid most of this tile, but we gave up right at the end because we ran out of mortar, so we'll do that tomorrow. We're gonna lay a start today uh, because we worked late last night and I'm tired and that's that. And we did some other things this morning. Anyway, <clears throat> we have this floor we're about to play. It is now, what time, 10.30? Let's see what time it is when we end. All right, good. So, as you can clearly see, it's been about whatever, seven minutes or something like that, and we laid all this top. We got the last piece, and some of you are like, hey, John, teach me how to actually do this. Let me show you. So I've got a special uh, device on my Bluetooth that allows me to use a tape measure to make my measurements, and I'll just measure and be like, okay, well, that's about five and a quarter. And I'll take this. I don't know if you got this. It's a Sharpie. And then you do like that. And then come over here, and you're like, okay, it's like eight and three quarters. And um, there you go. And then we're going to make like this, right? So. Now we're gonna cut this. And you might be thinking to yourself, self, do you use a wood saw to cut this? No, that's silly. Use a sheetrock saw. All right, are you ready? So you turn it on, it's the tough part. And then, you 
think to himself. So, John talks about safety a lot. Um, so, I want to show you. You got You probably noticed I got kind of close to this blade. All right, I'm going to try this out. You don't want to get too close to the blade, though, because, like, here you're okay. But if you... Oh! oh, 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 oh wait a minute. Wait a, wait a minute. Oh. Hey, you want to see my impression of Batman? Are you ready? Oh no, the kryptonite is killing me. That's Superman. I know, I've been working on it for a while, thanks. All right, let's put this in. <laughs> oh, hey there. You're probably thinking to yourself, John already laid all that tile today. What else are you gonna do? Good question. You see that sliding glass door? It's a beautiful sliding glass door. And I'm gonna show you more details on that in a second, but we're gonna put in a new one. It's definitely heavy. You see this siding? This is very elegant. And I'll show you, like, it's held up well over the years. Like, oh. Well, there's a lo little bit of a loose spot there, but uh, we're gonna definitely get rid of this siding, get a good shot of that, yeah. And over here, we'll get rid of that stuff. And then this sliding glass door is pretty nice. Huh, hold on a second. Yeah, we'll get rid of this. I did a new one. All right, so uh, we'll see you in about 28 minutes. Now it's time for a lesson in groutfulness. So, <clears throat> a lot of people think that whenever you lay tile, then you put the grout in with a grout saw. I had a lady actually ask me that. She said, how do you get your line so straight? And I'm like, we have a special grout saw. We just cut it and put it in there precisely. That's a lie. <clears throat> you just take your grout like this, right? And then you mush it in there. And that's pretty much how that works. It's truly amazing. If you're amazed by ridiculously simple things. Then, you get a special mixture of two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen. Uh, some people call it water. And then, you wipe this stuff off. Just like magic, it makes it clean. Water makes a lot of things clean. Maybe it can clean up my bad attitude now. Wait for it. Then you gotta clean off your sponge, because, you know, you don't just do it once. That's stupid. And um, I think you get the point. So, don't buy a grout saw. That would be a snake oil salesman. And with the water, you don't have to use bottled water like a lot of people think. You can just use regular out of the hose water. Hose have a purpose too. All right, love you guys, Susan. So look, don't get scared. We're gonna have more uh, construction stuff coming up soon. But in addition to doing all this, I also make a lot of music. So this is a music video that I made and I wanted to share it with you guys because I really hope that you enjoy it. All right. Somewhere
take about 28 minutes because everything takes 28 minutes and um, I'm a little tired right now because I was at the riots um, I stayed past curfew and I went to the riots and I was robbing from my neighbors and I'm pretty sure <coughs> so sorry I'm pretty sure I got COVID and uh, it's Trump's fault so uh, it's been 27 minutes and 14 seconds, but we're gonna round it up and say 28 minutes. And as you can clearly see, we took out the tub as promised. We took out the shower also as promised. We took out this wall. Here's a nice switch. Um, it still works. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it definitely works. Um, we took out all this stuff. We took out the wood. We took out the tile. We took out the toilet. And boom! Pretty soon we're gonna have something beautiful because that's how it works. A lot of you guys know that I do construction, but maybe you didn't know that I did. Deconstruction. Whew. Getting this done was like fighting a 20 pound chimpanzee baby. So, as you can clearly see, if you remember this morning, there was a shower here, and there was a wall here, and there's a light switch here. Uh, all that is gone. There's also a couple manifolds, and there's a drain. All that's gone. If you remember, there was a bathtub here this morning. All that's gone. We got a shower, it's got a bench, <clears throat> poured the pan. Uh, we tore out all the tile. Uh, now we took out all the hardwood. So, what's our lesson for today? If you want to do this by yourself, don't hire a professional. But if you think to yourself, self, I'm really lazy, hire us. So, today we're going to lay some 
tile because yesterday we had all the prep work, if you will, and uh, I cut myself up a lot. I hurt myself, so a bucket ripped part of my finger off right here, and then rebar sliced my hand right here, and I think I got some more, yeah, some more dings and stuff like that. So we were talking about, we like to talk about history a lot when we're on the job because we're pretty smart guys. <clears throat> so you probably heard people say, rub some dirt on it. Well, that came from soldiers, right? So soldiers, they don't care necessarily about infections or gay stuff like that. They just go, ooh, man, we need to keep living. And so they rub dirt on it and it clots the blood. So we do that. But if you lose too much blood, which I did yesterday, then you gotta drink some ketchup to replenish your blood, right? And a lot of people don't know that. And you're thinking, which is better, Heinz or Hunt's? And the answer is Heinz, obviously, because it's got 57 varieties, so no matter what your blood type is, you're good to go. So we're gonna lay some towel today. Um, we're gonna do a herringbone pattern. I've never done that, but I think it's something like this. You just take a tile, and you just put another tile over here somewhere, and then, let's, I think like that. Or, wait, wait, no, 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 better. Or, you do like this, and then you bring this one up. Like, hold on, how would that work? Like that. Oh, I see it now. And then like this, and then just keep doing that. Right so that's what we're doing for. It'll be real pretty. All right, see so you guys in a couple hours. We'll get this thing done. Sometimes when you're at work, uh, you end up in a movie, like The Grudge. Like we're taking out this sink, and then all of a sudden, Oh, let me put the camera on. Okay. Can we see that? I hope so. It's gross. We went ahead and laid all this tile. As you can clearly see, we put this little cubby in here with the herringbone pattern. We framed that out. It's very beautiful. We've got pebble stone on the floor right here. We took out the countertops. Tomorrow they're gonna put granite in. Tomorrow they're gonna put a granite top in here. The next day they're gonna put a glass door. We're about to lay this floor. We're doing that herringbone pattern that we talked about. I think you just randomly put things on the ground and hope for the best. I'm gonna try a different pattern and see if that works. Uh, and then tomorrow we will grab. So we're working so hard that Kenny fell asleep. Sitting on a bucket watching me work, he literally just like did the JFK. So there's two ways, this is important. There's two ways to watch a corporate show. I don't know if you guys ever do any of these corporate meetings, they're horrible. Uh, there's two positions. Number A is the Pez dispenser and allow me to demonstrate. <clears throat> This is where the candy would come out of the neck of the Pez dispenser. The second one is the JFK. And that's very simply this. You're just nodding off and then all of a sudden back into the left, just like JFK. So that's what Kenny was doing, the JFK. Don't do that on the job, lest you get fired. JK, love you. See all this stuff? It took a while, because this is a pretty complicated pattern. Uh, so normally we do it in 28 minutes. It took us like 42 minutes, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but. It's done, and I know what you're thinking. John, you get uglier as the day gets longer, and that's true. I get dirty, I stink, I bleed a lot. I'm not fun to be around. It's probably why I'm single. That, and I've failed at every single relationship I've ever had in my entire life. See you tomorrow, I'll grab this thing. Oh yeah, yeah, take a look. Ain't that pretty? Oh, so nice. So much time for a day. And pretty John. don't remember things or maybe you didn't watch the first video so I'm just gonna walk you through what we did in three days what we call two and a half days because for us a half day is 12 hours because of a half day is 24 hours and a half day is 12 there was a shower right here there was a cabinet thing right here we took those out there's a double manifold <clears throat> we jackhammer down we fixed all that we took the shower drain we fixed all that there was a light switch in this wall we took that connected these two lights together this was a garden tub we took the garden tub out, we redid the drain, there's a manifold under here, we um, fixed all that, we got a new, new shower faucet thing, and then we obviously did green rock and pan, built the seat, and blah, 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 and lots and lots of free time. So this thing is pretty cool. Uh, in case you guys maybe don't have rich friends, or maybe you're not rich yourself. So here's your faucet, and this goes from cold to hot. And then you got this rain shower, which is, I think it's high enough for even a tall person to get underneath it. But then also, you can get this cool diverter, and now it comes out the sprayer. But then you can also divert it again, oops, and then you got a body spray. And these are all adjustable, which is pretty neat. So that's, that's pretty cool. And then we've got a, um, look over here. 
we got this cool little cubby for shampoo or soap or I don't know, maybe a picture of your mom. If you want to take a shower, with a picture of your mom. Then we also take bed at this and she rocked this. And um, then we textured that. You guys saw that when we textured it the other day or earlier this morning. Sorry, that feels like a week ago. And um, <clears throat> a lot of you are thinking, what's the main tool that we use to do all this? And the truth is, uh, it's a stud finder. And I've got it right over here. Just take a look. That right there, that's the stud finder. <laughs> I know you're thinking that's a mirror. Um, well, it found a stud. In fact, it found two of us. And not all superheroes wear capes, but come back into the mirror over here, Kenny. You see that? Kenny's a superhero. I don't know if that's for Superman or Superman. It's, it's for Supperman. It's Supperman. You just add the second P, you got Supperman, and then we're good to go. All right, so anyway, this is what we did on the hairy bone tile on the floor, which is really pretty. Um, and it's our first time doing hairy bone, but I think it actually turned out pretty well. And we'll do something else tomorrow because John works too much. <laughs> Thank you.